Okay, so I found another one. Um, yeah, any, any of these that I find that I can figure, I'm, I'm going to do them, because why not, right? It's a neat idea. If you're down, maybe if you want to try it out, the whole, like, release year thing. Just makes it kind of, like, less pissy, right? Like, if I say my favorite game of, the, of that such and such a year is Mario 3, and then somebody's like, well, Mario World better, it's like, well, wait a minute, no, you get to have both those. It's like, fuck that, I'll take both. <laughs> <laughs> no choosing one it's up to you though right and if you actually enjoy these kind of kind of lists kind of things but i i thought it was a neat idea i'll also do the top 100 which these are different from the top 100 of course because the top 100 will contain my favorites not just my favorite per year of release but going back to uh 1949 let's let's get get her in there my favorite tv show by release year 1949 the lone ranger Nineteen fifty, Dick Tracy. Nineteen fifty one, I love Lucy. Nineteen fifty two, Superman. Nineteen fifty three, Popeye, which was also the first year of color TV. Nineteen fifty four, The Vampire Show. Nineteen fifty five, Alfred Hitchcock presents. Nineteen fifty six. The Price is Right. 1957, Leave it to Beaver. 1958, Felix the Cat. 1959, The Twilight Zone. 1960, The Flintstones. 1961, Top Cat. 1962, The Beverly Hillbillies. 1963, The Outer Limits, the original series, of course. 1964, Bewitched. 1965, I Dream a Genie. 1966, Star Trek. 1967, Mr. Dress Up. 1968, the Adventures of Batman, which is like the first cartoon kind of Batman back then. 1969, Monty Python's Flying Circus. 1970, Sabrina and the Groovy Ghoulies. 1971, The Hilarious House of Frightenstein. 1972, MASH. 1973, Super Friends. 1974, Happy Days. 1975, Saturday Night Live. 1976, The Muppet Show. 1977, Soap. 1978, Taxi. 1979, The Littlest Hobo. 1980, The New Adventures of Tom and Jerry. 1981, SCTV. 1982, Cheers. 1983, Fraggle Rock. 1984, The Transformers. 1985, The Raccoons. 1986, Dragon Ball. 1987, Married with Children. 1988, Denver the Last Dinosaur. Was as gay as you get, as 80s as you get, and it was a dinosaur that was taught how to skateboard. I'm in. 1989, Dragon Ball Z. 1990, Are You Afraid of the Dark? 1991, Ren and Stempy. 1992, Batman the Animated Series. 1993, Space Ghost Coast to Coast. 1994, Duckman. 1995, The Outer Limits. That's the, the remake, the Sam Egan one. 1996, Beast Wars. 
1997, South Park. 1998, Cowboy Bebop. 1999, Futurama. 2000, Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. 2001, Trailer Park Boys. 2002, Clone High, the original. 2003, Arrested Development. 2004, Stargate Atlantis. 2005, My Name is Earl. 2006, Death Note. 2007, Kitchen Nightmares. 2008, Clone Wars. 2009, Eastbound and Down. 2010, Sherlock with Cumberpatch. 2011, Steins Gate. 2012, Another. 2013, Vikings. 2014, Gotham. 2015, The Magicians. 2016, Letterkenny. 2017, Young Sheldon. 2018, Cobra Kai. 2019, Godfather of Harlem. 2020, Ted Lasso. 2021, Loki. 2022, third favorite show of all time, which was canceled way too early and complete bullshit, winning time. Uh, 2023, Scott Pilgrim takes off. And 2024, this is as of now, to what I've seen, Ted. That's as of now, right? Like, that's that's to this point. It's only February. I haven't seen any other shows come out this year. Um, it's my favorite Seth MacFarlane show for sure. I love the Ted movies. I was big on uh, American Dad and Family Guy. And, I mean, it's definitely my favorite of anything he's created. That's at this point. I've only seen seven episodes of this, of, uh, like of this show so far. To give you a quick update for the albums and for the films, because those, those came out last year, my favorite album of 2024 would be the soundtrack to Final Fantasy VII's Rebirth, and my favorite film of 2024, as, as of this point, is The Iron Claw, which is the story of the Von Erich family. Very well done film, seen it last night, fucking amazed. I, I don't believe there'll be another film I'll like as much as that one this year, but I already knew the story prior, was very impressed how they did it. Anyways, uh, there's some, some of these picks, like... Denver the Last Dinosaur, I mean, that's just nostalgia-driven. There's no way I could have picked anything else. I was, like, knee-high watching that, right? Like, there were, Garfield would have taken over the pick if Orson's Farm didn't have a part of that show. Like, the Garfield and Friends part, if you took out the Friends and just made a half an hour of Garfield, then I would have picked that over it, because I love the Garfield cartoon. I wasn't big on Orson or the Farm. I really didn't care. I usually walked away when that part came on. Um, if you liked it, cool. Not, nothing against you, right? But I just, I was never a fan of that. I was a huge fan of Garfield and the comics and stuff, and so that would have taken over that if the whole episode had been Garfield. Um, F is for family. Also, I, I love to death, but I couldn't put it over The Magicians. The Magicians was a show that I looked forward to every year. I loved the imagination in it. I loved how well it was done. I loved how it ended. Everything seemed to make sense and have a purpose to it. Game of Thrones got beat out by Steins Gate because Steins Gate's my favorite anime of all time. Steins Gate is, er, uh, Game of Thrones ended horribly to the point where over a million people signed a petition for them to refilm it. That was pathetic. Your ending was pathetic and people had to wait forever for it. So, nope. <laughs> You're sure as hell not getting that pick. Love the show to death, but not the ending. The ending was terrible. They didn't tie up loose ends. They just get, didn't. It was like they dialed it in. Um, 
not not going to go on forever. Uh, 2007's pick and 2012's pick, I don't like either of those shows enough to put them on a favorite list, but they were the only things I was willing to watch that year that weren't bad. Like Night Kitchen Nightmares, I didn't see that season, but I've seen episodes of it, and of all the shows that were listed in 2007, that's the only one I'd actually sit back and choose to watch and be like, yeah, this is entertaining. I like Ramsey. It's about him helping people get their kitchens back together, so it's like... It's not that bad. It's it's a edutainment. It's it's entertaining because of how mad he gets and stuff. And so I mean, it's, it's a good show. I'll never knock it. It's just definitely is a fish out of water for for picks of what I like. Right? <laughs> that reality shows aren't really my thing. I have watched several of them, but it's not really my my cup of tea. Uh, Twenty twelve, you had Sword Art Online, which I hate. Five episodes in, it was great. Then they go off on this tangent, and instead of making this really cool, dark twist kind of show, they turn it into a bunch of otaku nonsense. So I'm, I'm not a Sword Art Online fan. Uh, the other anime I'd seen from that year outside of another was High School DxD, which is a harem. Harems are basically, here's a guy, and a whole bunch of chicks want to bang him. And that's, it, sometimes they're animals, sometimes they're, you know what I mean? It's, it's just, it's a pervy anime, a titty one, if you will. And I would never put any of those on, on a pedestal. I mean, some of them are really entertaining and really funny. They do have good jokes to them, but story-wise, it, it lacks. There's no depth that doesn't go too far. And with another, it actually had a story that went there, but it's not really one that I would even... I Another probably wouldn't be on my top 100 anime list. It's just the only show from that year that I actually watched that was like, it actually fits. It's better than the rest of them, right? It's a neat idea, but it's just not really my cup of tea or whatever. But, anyways. Uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you uh, found something that you might be entertained by. Uh, there'll be more. I'm going to probably do an anime one. I'm probably going to do, like, a comic one. Or anything I can find that's subjective like that. I'm probably going to make a, uh, a video by release year. Plus, I'll be doing the top 100 films and albums and TV shows and stuff like that as well. Uh, there will always be a top 100 companion to, to each one of these videos. The other videos that will be coming in the future, there will be more collection videos because I've been working on digging through all my stuff and I've been working on doing my video game books and Nintendo Power and stuff like that and still piecing those away. So those, those will be coming. But anyways, uh, it's enough going on for now. Uh, love yous. Take care.